For the first time in years, one of the most controversial developers the city of St. Louis has seen is ready to speak out. Fox 2's Ty Hawkins sits down with Paul McKee in a story you'll only see on Fox 2 News. Homer G. Phillips Memorial Hospital, the NGA, two entities that one major developer believes could change the entire landscape of one of the most underrepresented areas in the city of St. Louis, the north side. I spoke to Paul McKee about the developments and some of the controversy surrounding some of the other properties he's involved with. I didn't think it would be as difficult as it is, I have to tell you that, but no, we don't quit. That's not in our psyche, ever. For more than two decades, St. Louis developer Paul McKee has had a plan. A plan for the redevelopment of North City that's been criticized and taken too long for some. Years and decades of having land and only three projects um, to be open. McKee says there's a sequence to development. Assemble land, which creates jobs, which creates demand. He spoke exclusively with Fox 2 from Homer G. Phillips Memorial Hospital. There's 76 employees, of which 85% of them are people of color. And of that 85% of people of color, 75% of them have a former relationship in their family with the old Homer G. Phillips Hospital. They saw a chance for them to give their service to their community. Nurse manager Crystal Gein says the hospital is more than just a clinic. This is a 24 hour, seven days a week hospital. We have 15 bed emergency room with three inpatient uh, beds so we can service the community. We have the expertise as if any other hospital around us. Across the street from the hospital, the nearly $2 billion NGA campus. A deal McKee helped negotiate when the agency was ready to move to Illinois. It started off with over 200 sites and we got it down to being us versus Illinois and we won it and we helped put together the whole incentive package from the state government and the city government. More than 3,000 jobs coming to one of the most underrepresented and underdeveloped areas in St. Louis history. A task his lawyer says the city never thought possible at the introduction of Board Bill 174 last week. I think for a year and a half, I went to meetings with NGA with Mr. McKee before the city ever came. And if you go back and look, you'll see that the city's original point of view on NGA is that it wasn't possible. Okay, I'll say that when we wanted to build a new hospital at the Pruitt Igo site, uh, SLDC came and said, well, they won't work. It can't happen. McKee, still one of the largest landowners in the city. Vacant lots, abandoned buildings, also on his resume in the minds of residents. Why the delayed development? What's his plan to address the years of decaying in dilapidated buildings he owns? We've already demolished over 100 different buildings. We have about 140 to go. We do about eight to 10 of them a month in a regular sequence. Uh, and our goal is to take is to get the land as clear and as quick as we can. Friday morning will be the third reading for the perfection of the bill. The land McKee has assembled could be in jeopardy because of eminent domain. McKee says if the bill passes, it could change the dynamics for him and other developers wanting to come to St. Louis. Whether it's me or Bob Clark or any other developer, the city has to partner with you in the state. That's how you win jobs. Jobs are the commodity of today for growth and economic development. So you can't do it without the city and without the state supporting you. Reporting in North St. Louis, Ty Hawkins, Fox 2 News.